morning, guys. I'm uh, getting ready for clinic. So if you'll recall from my Vitacost haul, I got the, this textured soy protein. As you may have noted, I'm making some more vegan switches. And I previously used to put eggs in my uh, cauliflower oats for protein. Um, but today I put a serving of this in lieu of oats. So today I just put one serving of this textured soy protein in, in lieu of, um, there's actually no oats in here, it's just cauliflower and uh, water and the textured soy protein, and it reconstitutes quite, to be quite a, quite a lot of volume once you cook it, and it, it cooks really quickly, um, honestly just like less than a minute um, in, in everything. And one serving has 14 grams of protein. Um, it's kind of like a proteinaceous oatmeal thing. If you don't tolerate uh, soy, you won't like it, but I, I happen to like soy, so. Um, and then I, of course, um, added a, this cacao powder that I got at Vitacost, which I love. And I topped it with some of my vegan almond milk yogurt that I made. And of course, as per usual, the dark chocolate covered espresso beans. And then I dusted on some uh, powdered ginger. Oh, I cooked the cauliflower oats with some fresh ginger too to, to give it some uh, zang. So yeah, I'm gonna have that and uh, go on out to clinic, but yeah. I want, oh, I wanted to show you guys. Um, so one of the things that I read in the morning, um, how do you guys stay up to date on current events? There's something that I love called the skim. Have you guys checked it out? Um, oh, expand the descriptor box below. Um, I have a link to it. Um, I, I encourage you to subscribe and I'll show you. So it's basically a really quick little newsletter that comes to your inbox Monday through Friday. And it's really... Um, uh, just a little just uh, gives you a quote of the day and then it just kind of gives you witty little um, two or three line sentence summaries of the past 24 hours current events and it has embedded within the text links to full length articles if you want to read the full length article. I like it because A it's you know witty it's not really in your face or aggressive or uh, particularly it doesn't seem to be particularly one-sided. Growing up one of the things I always enjoyed on Sunday was clipping the coupons in the Sunday paper, but that seems to just be a thing of the past, just sitting down and reading the newspaper, and I really miss it. But this at least kind of keeps me from being out of the woods entirely. I mean, I do the best I can with current events, and sometimes it's obviously incredibly overwhelming and, and can be a source of stress. So I find this to be a non-aggressive way to not be completely out of it, but um, not be too bogged down by by negativity in the media so just want to share with you guys well all right guys i just made it to clinic and oh, i've got my uh lunch here i brought the black beans on uh salad greens and uh the vegan um almond milk yogurt mixed with banana and ginger so that's what I'm gonna have for lunch today, saving money again. So, um, one thing that I wanna comment on, guys, um, I've been getting some questions about the Differin, and you know, here's the deal. Differin may not be enough for whatever type of acne you have, okay? So, um, you know, it harkens back to what I was saying last night with the self-treating kind of thing. Um, you know, not all acne is created equal, and not all skin types are created equal. So what's working for me, you you know is is not like may very well not be the right formula for you and your type of acne okay so um, I just want to emphasize that here that that's just how I'm using different and how my skin is responded to it reset everyone's expectations for for different or adapalene um, but anyways I am uh, it's kind of gray out today but um that is where I'm at. I've got Cooley on just in case. So I will also remind you guys that just because it is gray out does not mean that uh, the UV light is not uh, not exposing. See, people confuse. And um, the, the key anti-aging thing that you can do regardless of age, but the younger obviously the better, ignore all this other crap about the serums and blah, 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 blah. If you're not using good sun protection, Ultraviolet radiation is what's aging your skin, okay? There's no bioluminescent serum that you can buy at Sephora that's going to prevent that. It's sun protection. So I just want to reemphasize that here, um, that it's never too early to start and it's never too late to start. Anyways, guys. Oh, I've got my um, my necklace here. I This is one that I picked up at a uh, consignment store for, like, really cheap, but I think it's actually 
really well made so I like it and I've got my uh, my silver ball earrings uh, anyways check in with you guys later on my drive home and a recipe for cookies using the uh, using the pulp from my um, from my nut milk and I'm kind of excited with the way it's coming together I literally just made this dough up so we'll see how it turns out guys this morning I, I, I was emphasizing how sunscreen and sun protection is probably the strongest anti-aging thing that you can start doing at any time place or or location for, for cutting down your chance of of wrinkling and keeping your skin young as well as protecting yourself from those little skin cancers. Now, I don't have children or teenagers obviously, but I do see um, I do see kids as patients and, and adolescents. And I recall and I try and um, and remember what it was like to be that age and at that time everything is about instant gratification. Things that will happen to you later on in life is just sort of vague and you very much live live in the moment that that that's something that that as you get older you lose the, the ability to do and you become more aware of long-term planning i guess um but uh nowadays you know it's, i think it's even harder uh, than when i was a teenager ra raising teenagers uh because we, everything is instant everything's on our phone and, and we're, we get answers right away and results right away so this idea that doing something now will will have a result 20 or 30 years ago. I mean, how do you impress that upon a teenager? You guys with teenagers, you know, do you have any tips? You know, if there's like two or three words that you could say to a teenager to get them to start doing something behaviorally that, uh, you know, they won't notice the effects of, I'd love, I'd love your tips, all of you uh, moms out there um, that could help, help a gal out. But anyways. Um, I'm just going to throw these in the oven. We'll see how they come out. I'm behind on my lemon water today because we had our, because our clinic was being audited and technically we're not supposed to have food or beverage in the area. Yeah, I know. Apparently drinking water is hazardous for everyone's health. But um, <laughs> jokes aside, the rules exist for, for a reason, but sometimes they're not always fun to follow. The impromptu cookies that I just whipped up with the almond pulp, haven't tasted them yet, but check them out. They're really cute. Check out the crusty bottom here on these. These are completely vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, allergen-free, and they're made with the they're made with the uh, raw cacao powder that I got on Vitacost. So, yeah. Mm, they smell great. I took it upon myself to trim my fingernails. Um, I can't stand long fingernails um, just for myself and uh, I really cannot stand them when I'm uh, like the idea of cooking with long fingernails kind of bothers me. Food network on in the gym of course and when I say they I mean I go in there and put the food network on and force everyone around me to watch it. Cooking, cooking channel? Cooking channel. The best thing I ever ate. They were interviewing this proprietor of a restaurant about the, the signature dessert they had there that looked delicious. But OMG, when she started making it, she um, was making it. Granted, she probably doesn't do it this way in the actual restaurant, but just on TV, I was so repulsed. She had these very, very long fingernails and very long artificial fingernails, and it was like a and she put her hands in it, and I was just like, oh God, that sounds like a recipe for food poisoning. Tonight, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about uh, foot and nail care, coming back to uh, my mention about cutting my nails before. Uh, this applies to men and women, and I think taking care of your the skin on your feet is something that is underplayed in a, in a skincare routine, and it applies to both men and women, okay? If you're new here, I love this ointment. I put this on my heels a few nights a week, and I cover my feet with white uh, cotton socks. The go What's the going rate for a pedicure these days? Like 30 bucks? That whole nonsense where they take the little blade and they scrape your heels, yeah, I mean, it feels nice, and your feet look good for what, about 10 minutes afterwards? That just doesn't work, you know? I mean, like, uh, the stratum corneum on the, the bottom of the heels at the top layer is so darn thick that I mean the, the reason this pertains to men as well is you know um, 
foot fungus is quite common. Um, but the reason I bring this up is that callus stuff, that scaly stuff on your feet, fungus loves that stuff. That's a snack for it. So that's a, you know, it's a good idea to just kind of keep that at bay, if you will. Oh, but look who's being all smug in the background here, Uni. One of you guys commented asking if Uni had committed to uh, that CVS unicorn we were thinking of, of setting him up on, and the answer is no, we did not commit to that, but I should go back over there and see if it's on clearance now that Valentine's Day is over, but I don't know. I think Uni, Uni is uh, not so interested in settling down. She is uh, single like a Pringle, ready to mingle. Hey! <laughs> Uh, all right, um, but yeah, I love my uh, unicorn. I got this uh, at the uh, at the Cloisters, which is in New York. If you um, go to the um, if you go to the, um, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.